Last time I played this opera, I remember. I played Carmen. That was in Graz with Nicolas Hernancourt. Oh. Oh. We did, yeah. And I, I was trying to think when we were just playing. Can you imagine Nicolas Hernancourt conducting Carmen? <laughs> and then I can I say, uh, and then it was extraordinary because we, he booked this amazing singer, you know, uh, to, to do the Carmen. You, you need somebody very. You know, <laughs> you know, it has to be a particular kind of voice and particular personality, you know? He got this amazing woman, and the director was this German woman who was directing the opera, who was a very... <laughs> anyway, the, 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 yeah, we are writing class to start rehearsals, and this uh, Carmen, came by six months pregnant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 never, she, she never mentioned that to, <laughs> to the director. That, uh, and, and, and you cannot have Carmen pregnant. <laughs> How can you have Carmen pregnant? And this director was like, oh my God. <laughs> And she was, but you could see, I mean, you know, was, <laughs> you could not hide it. <laughs> and then this woman suddenly had the brilliant idea, said, okay, you know, now my, my whole concert doesn't make sense. Eh? So we have to do a pre-concert, a little show uh, in the foyer of the, of the opera house. To, to, to represent the rape of Carmen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and she wanted just to, to justify, oh, you know, that. You know, and then she comes, and then she comes six months later. And then she wanted Hanukkah to be the rapist. <laughs> to do like a kind of a pre concert, uh, pre opera. And then, Funny, you know, Harnoku was on for it just to do a little, and then we had to do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but I was just trying to think this is the last time I did. You set it up beautifully. Sorry to serve this week. I, I think it's quite extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs>